Okay, so today I'm going to review and do a little bit of gameplay on the Furpinator. And because it has Innator in it, I'm pretty sure a lot of people want to make a Phineas and Ferb reference. But I will not do that. Oh, God. That's just funny. I love that show. But there's two actions. Also, it's the uh, on and game mode selection button. There's two actions. Burping and farting, hence Furpinator. It's a combination of fart and burp. It was kind of... I didn't even know this existed until I saw, like, uh... Someone in Discord actually told me about this, and I was really curious, because it was a game by Super Impulse. And Super Impulse has done their World's Smallest series, their Tiny Arcade series. They've done a lot of stuff, really, actually. It runs on three AAAs, which are accessed by opening the compartment over here. And, it, again, it has two actions. Burping and farting. So I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to play a little bit. I'm going to do... All three modes, yes, there are three modes, not not just two. Well, technically there's two, because the last one isn't really uh, a game, per se. So, uh, yeah, let's do game one. Let me see if I can get this whole thing in a shot. Let me just hold it sideways, actually. And game two, what's on there? Is that the scratch? I'm very confused. Bothers me a little bit that that's on there. Game two is a memory game, which, if anything, it reminds me of a combination between Rhythm Jam on New Jam Guitar and Simon. So, it's kind of like the Simon memory game or whatever. I'm still trying to figure out what the ciphers mean. Pretty sure the last ones mean a uh, single point, and the other one means five or uh, ten points, depending. I'm still getting used to this game. Which, yes, I have been playing this during my downtime, which explains why I have a uh, decent store on the uh, first mode. Whoops. This is just a freestyle mode. I'll do a little bit. But anyway, 
Uh, in closing, this is one of the most unique games that I've pretty much ever played in my entire electronic gaming history. Um, life, not history. And it's it's a very unique one. It's it's not that hard to find. Well, I don't see it in stores, so I had to hunt it down off of Amazon for $17 even, actually. But, uh, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed that. I will see you all in the next video. Earthworm Joe 94, signing out.